Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me again for some movement. Um, we are going to work a little bit more into the legs today, so I'm looking forward to it. Let's start facing our mat. Good old child's pose. So put your big toes together and your knees really, really wide, and then hinge your hips back and down. Reach your arms as far out in front of you as you can and kind of wobble your hips left and right, left and right. So get some movement through those hips. And then keep your left arm facing forward and bring your right arm behind you. Just try to see if you can hug it behind, maybe even touch your left thigh with your right fingertips. Keep pushing that right shoulder towards the ground. And then keeping your hips level, go ahead and rotate your right shoulder up. So you're going to kind of be pushing into that left elbow. Rotate the right shoulder up. It's a little bit awkward, I know, but it gets a stretch through that left shoulder, serratus anterior muscle, and then kind of opening through the chest, thoracic spine. Okay, back to center. Right arm pushes forward. You can put your forehead back on the ground. And bring your left hand behind. See if you can touch your right thigh with your left fingertips. And possibly notice how much more open or tight you are on one side versus the other. This is what we need to notice. Constant feedback. Which side needs a little more attention and care? Which is tight? Which one do we need to work on a little bit more? All right, lift your head and then rotate that left shoulder up so that you can kind of push into the right elbow. Feel that stretch behind the shoulder blade through your armpit, down your spine, and then release. All right, come up to your hands and knees. Um, we are going to be working from a hands and knees position for a little while. So if this bothers your wrists, there's a couple different things you can do. First off, you can try working on it. Um, if you just have wrist pain, there's not really a lot that we can do right now in this position. But over time, with some wrist movements and manipulations and things like that, um, you should be able to get a little bit better. Arthritis, that's kind of something that is just a bummer. But if you just have some impingement and pain, then, um, cause I used to a lot, uh, and I was able to kind of fix a lot of the wrist pain by working through, um, finger stuff, which we've done on another move day. Um, and then also really focusing on pushing properly through your palms evenly. So your thumb and first finger should really take a lot of the force. So that's where you should be putting a lot of the effort is through that thumb and first finger and then kind of suction cupping your knuckles to the ground so your palms almost lift all right so slide your shoulder blades down and then we're going to just start with our low back hinges so hinge your hips to the left and the right the left and the right opening up that low back get some movement through the spine keep sliding those shoulder blades down feel the chest stay lifted up off the rib cage Okay, level off, and we're going to go with a few rotations here. Push into that left hand. Put your right hand behind your head so the elbow is going to be bent. Inhale to open the elbow up toward the sky as much as you can, keeping the hips level. Exhale, drop your elbow to the left wrist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. So really focus on that rotation. Don't push it past the point where your hips are going to start moving. So find that little stretch, but this here is more mobility. It's really just training your upper back to be able to get that space. Two more. Inhale with your twist. Exhale as you drop. Last one. All right, other side. Find that plant of the hand. Push into your thumb and first finger. Um, oh my goodness, I was going to say, you can also go knuckles. Sorry, you can put knuckles on the ground, and that's going to put your wrist in a neutral position. Um, another thing you can do, so like I have this bench here, or if you have a couch 
or a chair, you can put a towel on and then rest your forearms on the chair. Then that will give you um, the same kind of position. So your elbows would drop and you want to try to keep that same flat back. Sorry, I got lost in my open palms. I forgot to say what the rest we could do. All right, so find that plant in the hand, left hand behind the head. Inhale, twist to open. Exhale, elbow toward that wrist. Inhale, twist. Exhale, fold. Focus on those hips, keeping them level. Last one. Inhale, twist. Exhale, lower. All right. Plant back into both of your hands. Spread those fingertips nice and wide. All right, we are going to work into those legs now. So plant onto your left knee and both hands and extend your right leg straight behind. So I want you to extend it, but keep your toes on the ground for a second. So from that position with the toes on the ground, you can tell a lot more whether or not your hips are staying level. So if they're way up high, we don't want that. We want them to level off. So push into the toes. Feel the quad flex, and then wrap your elbows to face behind you. So you kind of open your elbow pits in front to slide the shoulder blades down. So a lot is going on in the upper body. We're not just focusing on the leg. Okay, so now that left heel, we're going to lift and lower. So just lift the heel to hip height. Belly stays strong. Try to push your chest forward, slide the shoulder blades down. So feel still flexion in your back. 10 more. Eight, seven, belly strong. Lift with that glute, flex the foot. Three, two, and one. Now don't put it down, bring the knee out to the side and then wrap the right foot up by your right hand. And then we're just gonna shift forward and back. Just go five times. Here's two, pull the hip back, try to get the leg straight. Three, four, and five. All right, go back to your hands and knees. We're gonna go on the same leg. So stay on your left leg, palms open, those fingertips nice and wide. Extend that right leg out again, level off those hips. Lift your leg to where it's hip height. Now then you're gonna pull your heel in and push it out. Pull it in, push it out. So we're trying to find that hamstring a lot, a lot. Make sure you're not leaning to the left. Belly strong. Here's 10, we have 10 to go. You got it. Belly strong. Slide those shoulder blades back and down. Can you tuck your belly button back toward your spinal column anymore? Three, two, one. Okay, same thing. Bring that leg to the side and then up and around. And we're going to do that same hamstring side. So hinge forward and then stretch back. That back left knee is on the ground. Drop it forward and back. Your hands are going to kind of walk forward and back. Three. Two more. And one. Okay, bring that leg back around. And then last one on the same side. Flex again, stretch through all of those fingertips. Find your setup, wrap your elbows back toward you. So keep the knee bent this time and we're gonna open it out to the side. Good old dirty dog. Belly strong. Our focus is to try not to let the hips 
rock out away from us as the knee lifts out to the side. Keep your right foot flexed. Try to push evenly into both arms. Think about both directions of the move. So don't just let your knee flop back to center. Keep working through that outer upper glute. Try to flex the inner thigh to control the drop back. 14, 15, belly strong. Push those shoulders down. I even start kind of collapsing into my neck too. There's a lot going on, a lot to think about. Two and one. All right, bring the foot out one more time outside that right hand. Hinge forward and stretch back. Chest is lifted. Try to keep that upper back nice and flat too. Straighten the leg. This is five. All right. Knees back and down. Curl your toes under and sit on your hips. Let's roll through those wrists a little bit. Talk about it and then not even do it. That's not a good idea. So get some movement through your wrists. Rotate them up, back and down and around. All right, let's do that other side. So plant back into your hands, shoulders back and down. Now our right knee is going to be holding us. Left leg extends back straight behind you. Flex the foot, make sure that the hips are level, and then lift here. Belly strong, we're doing 20. Five, you wanna feel that left glute a lot, a lot. But scan the rest of the body as well. Shoulders back and down. You're in charge of your neck. Flexing into that supporting leg as well. Hips are level. Make sure you're not sagging through the belly. So contract around that core, just as if you were in a plank position. 17, hang on to it, 18, 19, and 20. All right, bring your left leg forward outside your hand, and then we're gonna do our little hamstring slide. Hinge forward and back. Back stays nice and flat. And this is five. <clears throat> All right, come back onto that same leg. Plant into your hands, knees down, left leg back, level off the hips. Bring the leg up so that it's at hip height and then curl the heel in and push it back. Two, three. So try to find isometric flexion. So you're hugging the muscle to the bone. Envision you have a band you're working against. This is eight. Feel that hamstring, belly strong. Try to keep those hips level. Flex into that supporting leg. Last three, two, and one. Bring that knee up and around. Plant your foot in front, outside your left hand, hinge forward, and then slide back. Two, three. Stretch that hip flexor. Stretch the hamstring. This is five. All right. Coming back. 
have one more on this side. Our lateral knee raise, our good old dirty dog. Find that position, shoulders underneath, or shoulders over your wrists. Plant into that right leg, belly strong, open, the knee out to the side, and then drop it back in. You're in control. Belly strong. Four. Five. Try not to lean away from that lift. Stay strong in your back. Strong in the core. Ten. Keep that left foot flexed. Fourteen. Come on. Wrap those elbows back toward the knees. 19, 20. All right, bring that left leg up and around. Hinge forward, hinge back. When you're hinging forward, make sure that that left heel stays on the ground. And then when you hinge back, you're just straightening the front leg, pulling the toes up. You're not sitting on that back heel. Last one. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just finish off with a little stretch, okay? Still on those hands and knees. Take your left knee and put it kind of in center and then wrap your right knee around it. All right, so from here, kind of open your feet out just a little bit away from each other and then you're gonna slowly sit back on your butt. So your knees should be somewhat stacked. Chest lifts forward, and then just lean over those legs. So if you're tight in your glutes, you will feel it here. Hip flexors possibly. Okay, just walk your hands easy. If your right knee's on top, walk your hands easy to the right. Just a little bit to the right, twisting here. All right, untwist. We're going to come back up onto our hands and knees. Unpretzel. And now you're going to go right knee down, planted in the center, left leg around. Open both of your feet a little bit wider away from each other. Sit back easy. Knees are stacked. Yeah, this side's a little tighter. Stretching over those legs. Kind of push into the hands and pull the hands back towards you. You'll feel a little more stretch in the back. And then easy does it. Walk your hands just as far as they'll go, as far as your body's happy with that twist over the left leg. So you're twisting over whichever leg is on top. And then try to relax, check in. Are your hip flexors grabbing and holding, tightening and flexing against the stretch? Or are they relaxing into it? I'm gonna relax into it. All right, stay seated, unpretzel. And we're just gonna lower down onto the mat, on your back, get a quick glute stretch. So cross your right ankle over the left knee, grab your hands behind the left thigh, and pull your legs into the chest. So make sure though that your hips are staying balanced and then your legs balanced over it. You can also use a wall to put your left foot on. So the foot that's facing away from you, I'm sorry, like straight away from you. Not the one that's folded over the top, but the other one, you can place that on a wall and then you don't have to worry as much about the pull behind. All right, release, same thing other side. So our left ankle is gonna go on top of the right knee. Grab your hands behind your right thigh. Level off those hips, flex through the feet. Push into the upper middle back, push into the hips. Pull everything toward you. 
broaden across that chest. Dig your left elbow into the left knee and really push it out away from you. And then release and come up to seated. I'm gonna take a quick butterfly stretch, soles of the feet together, wrap your hands around your toes, and then gently lean over the legs. All right, all right, fantastic job. Hopefully your wrist hung out okay, or you found a great alternative, and uh, your hamstrings and glutes uh, are a little bit stronger and healthier and happier.